everyone, welcome to Ceylon Plays Corpse Party Dead Patient. Never played this game and I wanted to play it because it just came out on Steam a few days ago. Anyway, start chapter one and extra chapter what? What do the plus signs mean? X is the inner key. This is gonna be a little awkward. Do you wish to view the prologue? Um, yes. The silence of a dim room was broken by a faint to ding, indicating that another email has been received from who? The computer's user moved his hands from the keyboard to the mouse and clicked into the mailbox. He was greeted by row after row of messages, all with the same subject. Blank nods to the netherworld contact form. The black-haired boy gave a soft sigh and then looked away from the screen, casting his eyes to the opposite corner of the room. Oh my god, is that a Yumi in the background? We sure do get a lot. What should we do with them all? I don't know. <laughs> the boy's tone was troubled, but remained kind and even as he spoke. He was showing obvious consideration for his companion. And that companion was a single girl wearing a white cardigan. She was seated in the corner of the room, illuminated by the sunlight, but didn't move even a single muscle. Her gaze was unfocused. Looking at her, one could be forgotten from wondering if she were really, what? I can't read that word, of her surroundings, or if she existed a little more than a vegetable. Okay, why is this random? That's a little weirder. We should shut the window at least. We don't want to catching a cold Shinozaki. Oh, yes. This is Ayumi, I figured. I'm guessing you're in a hospital. Hey. Oh, I did not like that sound. I racked my brain trying to understand the situation I was in and how I could have gotten here. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't remember a thing. Oh, that's sad. I'm scared, I'm so scared. Me too. And the AC's on. Oh, what the? I don't know what button I was supposed to pr Oh. That was a needle. I was hooked up. Oh. Jesus, that must have hurt. <laughs> it hurts so much, it feels like my head is about to burst open. Oh, that's graphic. Okay. Ew, you throw up. That's gross. <laughs> Ew. Oh, wait. You even... Okay, that was a little too graphic. I don't want to explain the second half of what happened, but... That's graphic. Oh. I 
You made a mess, you sure did. <laughs> My head feels so dizzy. It's all I can do just to remain consciousness. Yeah, you look like you're gonna pass out. I'm sorry. I can't believe I soiled myself. Maybe the anesthetic hasn't completely worn off yet. This looks like an operating room. But what am I doing here? Wait, who? Who even am I? I can't remember anything. Escape from the operating room. You walk so slow, this is gonna be a problem if we're chased by people. But anyway, obtained medical chart number three, your patient Chihiro Yamada. Can I read it? I, I don't know, but anyway. There's a small key on the chair, faintly glinting in the dull light of the room. The key that looks a bit too small to fit in any doors. Oh well, that's swell. Press the B button, then use directional arrows to cycle through and view items currently in your possession. That better be the correct key for the keyboard, because if it's not, I'm screwed. To use an item, select it from the item menu. This will place it in Ayame's hand. She will then automatically use it when interacting with the corresponding object and or person. How the hell are we gonna get out of here? Cause there's literally no space to walk. The door is electronically locked. The only way to get it open is with the device on the wall next to it. But it looks broken. It's a card lock designed to unlock the door only when a valid ID card is scanned. The cable leading to it is cut, however. It's receiving no power. I wonder if there's anything I can use to connect the two halves of this cable. Well, I'm out of luck for that. Guess we gotta go search through the room? Not like I want to, cause it's a hospital, but there's no choice. There are a number of surgical tools here, including a pair of forceps. A medical tool that is resembled a pair of scissors. Use the clamp blood Oh god, that's... Okay, I feel like I'm gonna puke after that, but I'm learning about hospital stuff. I wish I did not say that, but it's true. Oh, we can view what we grabbed. That's cool. Chihiro Yamada, female, first day, age 28, don't know what year, reason for admission, hyperventilation slash panic disorder. Oh gosh, that's sad and scary. Well, good to know. Electricity ran through the forceps, delivering a rather significant electric shock. It's much too dangerous to do this with bare hands. Great! I gotta find gloves before I do anything. There's a chart of some kind on the screen. The numbers on it are increasing and decreasing rapidly. A bit too rapidly to mean anything good. Oh, well that's not helpful. So, I need to find gloves in order to get the heck out of here. There doesn't seem to be much inside, but it's big enough to fit a person. So this could potentially be a useful hiding spot. Hiding spot? Oh crap. We're gonna get chased by creepos. Which I should plug in my controller for because there's no set controls for the keyboard for the run button. Which kind of sucks. There's a red warning message flashing on the screen. And great. I wonder if I can get this open. <gasps> You might be able to use that tiny key. And then I believe there might be gloves in there? I don't know, I'm just guessing. Okay, we're getting the hang of this. I'm a little slow about it, but I'm getting the hang of this. 
Use the smart key to open the cabinet doors. Woo! Finally, after like five minutes. The inside is full of disposable surgical items. Among them are several pairs of disinfected rubber gloves. Rubber gloves. Thin rubber gloves worn during surgical procedures. Well, I knew that already. Well, now I can put the gloves on and open this freaking door. Thank God. If I put these rubber gloves on before using the force of protection protection from getting electrocuted. I guess I have them on. Okay. The connection is holding it. The card reader has power now. And it's awaiting input. Uh, I... Wait, what? Now I gotta find a card. I think, because it's not going to let me go through. There's a single medical record here with a note attached to it. The medical record has a patient name and photograph listed on it as well. Read the medical record, sure. This is me. Whoa. Okay. Ayame Ito, I think that's how you pronounce it. Ayame, yes, that's right, that's my name. My name is Ayama Ito. I finally remember. Congrats. There's an ID card lodged inside the file. ID card. A security card that grants access privileges to its owner. Can be used to unlock a specific door. Oh, okay. So I had to find that. Okay. Took long enough, but we're good. I'm terrified. The background music is scary. Oh, there's no music. What the heck? Obtained medical chart number 24. Patient Mio Sunahara. I want to check. Mio Sunahara, female, blood type A, first day 1031. Ooh, that was recently. Height 56. Reason for admission blood poisoning. Um. I don't know what that is, but I'm scared. <laughs> okay, um, can I save? Yeah, I can't save. Okay, I guess there's checkpoints. Oh man! Ayame, you fell over. Oh my, what the? Who is that? Um, hello? What is this? It's all black and syrupy. Ew. I'm guessing it's like dry blood or something. Anyway, can we go through here? It's locked. Door says emergency exit. Well, I have an emergency. It's called peeing my pants. TMI. <laughs> the door is locked. The sign it reads MRI room. I don't want to go anywhere. I guess we're going to go up here where that woman went. Whoever that is. Oh, wait, are we supposed to follow her? I really don't want to do that, but if we have to, I will. Oh. It's so quiet. Why is there no one else here? Ada! Excuse me, is anyone there? It's so dark, I can't see anything. Please don't jump scare. Oh, this is the second floor. But where is everyone? Dead. Aren't there any nurses? Everything's a mess. What happened here? Was this place ransacked? It's so creepy. Okay, you stay calm. I just need to see if I can find someone. Maybe I'll remember something along the way. I can do this. Nope, I can't. I'm about ready to pee my pants. I'm gonna get jump scared at the most idiotic thing ever, probably. Hey, a candle! Is this a safe spot? I know in Court's party this is well known for safe spots. Yes. Okay. Thank you. The candle looks so 
think so. But, oh well. Anyway, can we go in here? Door says office on it. It's locked. There's a note. Be back in a bit. I'll leave the key with someone else in the changing room. In case anyone needs to get in here in the meantime. Management. Okay. Get the office key from the changing room. I don't know where that is. It's definitely not over here. I will save again. And with that, I think I'll leave the first part here. Most of the time I was trying to figure out the controls, but I'll get better as the game goes on. But yeah, I really like this game so far. And I can't wait to see what happens in the future for this game. Honestly, I'm scared, but I think I'll have fun with it. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I guess I will see you all next time in another Dead Patient video, or whatever I make next. Goodbye, for now.